and we're rolling. So Jeremiah, welcome to Drummer's World here in uh, January 2010. Been on the road a lot, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And welcome back to New York. And I was just curious, uh, I know you've been interested in, in hand development quite a while, uh, but now uh, with, with oncoming things, you're more interested or you're getting invested in, in the feet development. Uh, what, what's, what's on your mind with the new, the, the new thing you've been working on? You, you hinted at, at a new DVD coming out about feet well, technique. Well, it's not that, that, uh, that I'm particularly more interested in it. It's just like right now, I mean, I'm, I'm always have an equal share, equal, equal interest in, you know, all the aspects in, like music. Uh, it's just like at some point, like uh, I realized that there's some information missing, you know. So then that kind of grabs my my attention. So right right now, um, uh, I'm I'm revisiting like a lot of the aspects that 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 make the composites of like bass drum technique. You know, not just the technique, but I start to understand that uh, in order to understand bass drum technique, you really have to understand uh, the way pedals are made. So I'm currently really decomposing bass drum pedals and you know perhaps I'll, I'll be able to come up with some original solutions that that make sense you know so the idea is is the the technique of the pedal somehow corresponds with the technique of the foot so is that what you're getting at uh, you? well i would say i mean that's the way it's supposed to be really mm. however um you know, most of the pedals that we have today are, are kind of created after molds that was made in the 40s and 50s. You know, like, like I mean, most of the pedals that we have today are, are kind of reverse engineered Camco or Gretsch pedals. You know, it's like a lot of the other uh, mm -hmm. principles, like, you know, the Speed King, and I mean, there was a bunch of different ones. They, they, they kind of almost vanished in favor of that particular pedal, and which it was a really good pedal, and it really well bent, balanced pedal. However, back in the 50s, uh, drummers played differently. You know, they, they had bigger bass drums with two heads. They needed to play quiet, mm -hmm. not out to drown out. You know, the upright bass. So everything has changed. Bass will became smaller and you know, front head off. They muffled it. So they've been using the same pedal as an interface. So they needed to create more volume. So they started to bury the beater in, inside the bass drum. So then it's kind of like it's like the analog. Um, it's, it's, it's the same thing as if you will bury the stick into the, the head, which some drums do with, with good results. And I'm not saying that that you're not a good drummer if you don't if you don't have proper technique. But um, doing some of the things that I'm trying to do, like like you have to pay attention to certain occurrences or certain physical laws. Otherwise, you're gonna kill yourself. You know. Well, I'm, I'm lazy from like <coughs> nature, yeah. so I'm trying to use technique to help me out. I've noticed that you've dissected bass drum pedals. Uh, oh yeah, is it? Is it yeah, yeah, very neurotically for <laughs> for about ten years. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm I'm coming to like a crest of like a wave, which is, I think, gonna collapse very soon. <laughs> and yeah. then I, I think I will have some answers, for, you know, I mean, I talk to a lot of people, and, and I still do. You know, it's just like, there's certain things. You know, you know, once you sort of put question mark or exchange exclamation points with question marks and you go like, okay, well, this is, people have been taking this for granted, but is it really true, you know? And then, you know, you might end up, yeah, well, it is, or no, this is bogus. You know, why have we been doing that? Like, why has nobody questioned that, you know? And, yeah. You know, the industry works in a certain way and they not necessarily do create the best gear, but they create what's requested, you know? So people have to be educated. Uh, so, so I'm trying to, you know, offer my 50 cents. Well, we look, we look forward to that. And we, hey, pre we appreciate, be patient. We, it's appre like, you we know, appreciate your time. And thank you very much. This. Yeah, just, just, just be patient. This project is like, a, it's a tsunami, you know. It's a very <laughs> scary thing that I'm, that I'm about to do. But it's but, coming. Um, yeah, yeah, well, I did it before, so, you know. You'll do it. With a little luck, we'll right. be all right. Thank <laughs> you again. Thank you. <laughs>